what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here don't forget to hit the subscribe button um, it's a cool channel guys I think you should subscribe like I'm a pretty cool dude anyway today we're gonna go into a dreadlock update I know this is like my 26 one I think so please ignore the shadows at the back I'm like testing a new spot for videos so I'm trying to like just see how this spot will be I think I like it so I'm just gonna put a background on it and then I'm gonna be shooting videos here permanently so it's in my room and I used to shoot at my friend's house but I think I might move to shooting here because this is closer it's convenient it looks pretty good I think with the background and uh, yeah that's pretty much it Anyway, today we're going to go to a dreadlock update. It's going to be really quick. I've been gone for a little bit and that's because I've been working on a couple of things for the channel, some channel art and some channel videos and some intros, some outros and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to improve the quality of the channel in general because I want you guys to be able to see us the place you can go to if you want to watch like really good quality videos. So yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop speaking now and I'm just going to voice over the whole update because I want to like show you guys some specific stuff on my dreadlocks like that some Congos, some places for growth and stuff like that so yeah, let's get into this update I usually like wash my hair before I update so I didn't today so it might look pretty crazy I mean I love, I'm not, okay let me just sidetrack I really love the way my hair is right now and I think I've been waiting for so long to get to this point where my hair just looks like crazy. I know that sounds like a bad thing, but I like I like the length. I like how well locked they are. I like I'm just I'm just in love with my hair, guys. To be honest, and it took like a lot of time. It took a lot of patience. This is like I think my 26 month. So you can imagine for 26 months, like the first few times going through like the ugly stage of dreadlocks, I had like really ugly hair and then now I'm like passing down passing my lips I have a lot of Congos I have a lot of new growth as well which I have to twist actually but yeah um, I really love my hair I like the way it's turning out and I hope you guys love it too I guess but yeah the update all right so let's just get right into it um, first of all you guys can see that there's a lot of new growth on my hair and like i really need to retwist this like it's a lot of new growth and it's like just all over the place um, but then you know if we take a closer look at the dreadlock we can see that it's been nodding really nicely and these are like fully mature dreadlocks at this point in time so i'm not even worried about them like unraveling and you can see like a tiny congo here i have like a bunch of these congos all over my head like i'll show you later on this is just like me voiceovering this by the way so there's like a lot of new growth as you can see there's a lot of congos and well the dreads are looking very healthy actually i have some really thick ones by the side i always find that the thicker ones are on either side and also at the back of your head you can see how thick it is but you can see it's also like very very um locked also there's a gray hair there which is like terrible it means i'm aging super fast but yeah you can see um this one has like a thinning end which is what i was talking about so my dreadlocks thinning because i've not been wearing my um my bonnet so yeah some of them are actually thinning so i'm gonna have to probably like chop them off or something and this is just like one of the sides of my head you see my scalp which is pretty good actually it shows that there's like separation between my dreadlocks another like super thick dread a lot of them are at the back are like really thick but you're gonna see that in a moment right now but yeah just like a side view nothing too crazy going on just thick locks a lot of new growth and while my locks are really frizzy but i don't really mind that because you know frizzy dreads are like a character and if you look at all those locks they're all like connected right now i think i'm going to separate them because that's like too big of a congo that's like i don't know six dreads together even more you can see you can really see like the separate the connection of them here so it's like a huge huge congo going on but yeah just shaking it out and then i'm gonna show you some of the back and yes you can see 
the dreads are super duper thick and then they're really long like right now i think they're going past my neck which is like a huge upgrade from like a year ago so yeah you can see some of the dye still on my hair my hair kind of looks gray i'm not sure why but um i think it's just like the lighting at that point in time and um you know you can just see the frizz around the hair you can basically see like a lot of length there's a lot of growth every month which is why i have like so much new growth this now goes down way past my chin which is like a huge improvement for me because you know my dress were really short before but yeah just shaking it out and i'm gonna put like a slow motion dread shake out for you guys so you can see i know i like seeing like slow motion dread shake out so hopefully you guys like seeing that too That actually kind of hurts the dreadlocks here in my eyes. It actually really hurts a lot. But yeah, that's pretty much the update. Um, a lot of stuff have been going on in my hair for the past three months. And especially considering the fact that I haven't retooted it in such a long time, a lot of my, a lot of the locks are like coming together to form Congos. But I also noticed that since I wasn't sleeping without my, since I was sleeping without my bonnet, uh, a lot of my ends were like thinning out which is really really bad so I started sleeping in my bonnet again so that like my hair is protected from like cotton the cotton pillowcases which like they draw a lot of moisture out of your hair and they cause your hair to break which is why a lot of my ends were like splitting so yeah I'm started wearing my bonnet again and like moisturizing heavy since it's winter as well that also plays a part in like thinning of my dreadlocks but um yeah, that's pretty much the update for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And um, I'm going to put in a new video out talking about my channel updates. And I mean, you guys have seen the schedule now because my new channel art should be up by now. So yeah, releasing videos every Sunday and every Wednesday. So Sundays and Wednesdays, you guys have something to look forward to. To see this face and these dreadlocks. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on Wednesday.